Hi, I'm Anna and I'm pleased to introduce you to these how-to videos from Stroma. First and foremost, we're really glad you decided to go with a Stroma. To help you connect to the Stroma and take full advantage of its features, I will explain the general functions of the Stroma Omni app in this video. The new Omni app is for the models ST2, ST3, ST5, as well as the ST1 with Omni upgrade. The ST1 model communicates via Bluetooth as standard. For this, you need the Omni BT app, which is explained in another how-to video. The apps are free, and you can download them from the App Store or the Google Play Store on your smartphone. Learn how to register for the app for the first time and add your Stroma in the how-to video, how to register and add a Stroma to the app. The connection between the app and the OmniC display is established by a cellular network or via Bluetooth. A free SIM card is built into each of these bikes. Now, let's dive into the features of the Omni app. On the start page of your app, you can see which of the four menu levels is called up by the red icon at the bottom. Let's start with the red bike icon on the far left, the bike status. Here you can also conveniently lock your bike with the app by clicking the grey lock unlock button. With this, the immobiliser is active and your bike remains switched on and requires battery power. Just below the locking function, you will find all of your riding data. So the current state of the battery charge, the battery temperature, the motor temperature, as well as your total distance, total riding time, and the average kilometers ridden. If you tap on the red info icon, you can call up all of the data from your last trip. You can easily reset the counter for the last trip. Your Stroma must be switched on for this. In the new app, you'll also see your motor's temperature display. The motor should not exceed a certain temperature. The ST5 Sport Mode shuts down at 100 degrees Celsius or drops down to assistance level 3, but reactivates as soon as the motor temperature is below 100 degrees C again. From 142 degrees C, the output of the motor decreases. From 150 degrees C, which is very rare, the motor shuts down for safety reasons. The battery management system built into the battery protects it from temperatures that are too high or too low whilst riding. If the temperature limit is exceeded, the 48V are switched off temporarily. If the charging temperature is too high or low, meaning the battery is either too hot or too cold, the charger goes into wait mode and flashes red until the temperature is back between the normal range. This function ensures that the cells are not overloaded. On the map here, you can see where your stroma is currently located or, while switched on, where it last sent a location signal via GPS. In addition, the nearest Stroma dealer is also visible. The next icon takes you to the configurations. Your bike name and the model name, size and colour appear at the top. You can change your bike name via the pencil icon on the right and confirm it with the check mark. In the sensors line, you can adjust the response behaviour to your own riding style. Click on the red arrow on the right and move each slider respectively depending on your preferences. The higher the sensitivity of the pedal sensor, the less pressure you have to apply to the pedals before the assistance kicks in. With the sensitivity of the brake sensor, you can preset how much energy flows back into the battery via the motor brake, meaning how high the regenerative braking should be. The higher the brake sensor setting, the stronger the regenerative braking. This setting has nothing to do with when the brakes start to engage. Once you've made your adjustments to the sliders, press save. Motor tuning can adjust speed, torque and agility. These settings only apply to assistance level 2. This means that if the settings have been customised, the 2 is displayed underlined on the Omni interface. So, now I can test the setup on level 2. If I set the speed back, it increases my range. With the torque setting, I can determine how fast the motor accelerates. The lower the torque, the greater the range. When tuning the agility, I can determine how quickly the motor responds and how powerfully it assists. The lower the agility, the lower the power consumption. After adjusting the sliders, click Transfer. You can choose between different presets. You've got Standard, Snow, City, Tour and Custom. As you move the sliders, you will be shown graphically what influence which setting has on the range or on the motor. How far I get with my battery depends not only on these settings, there are lots of other elements involved. For example, the choice of gear, the cadence, 
the riding style, the terrain, the road surface, the tyre pressure, the weight, the air resistance, even my riding position and the amount of stops I make. These all will have an effect on the range. Below the sensor configuration settings, you have the section theft protection. There are various security settings that I can make. Change pin. This is where your pin code can be changed and auto lock can also be activated. With auto lock, you can determine when the bike locks automatically after either three, five or 10 minutes. Without auto lock enabled, the bike will go into standby mode after five minutes of no activity, but it will not be locked. Confirm the desired settings with the check mark. The power consumption in standby is five to 15%. In the event that your stroma gets stolen, you can activate theft mode by tapping on turn on theft mode. With subsequent confirmation by tapping on activate, theft mode is switched on. This mode locks your stroma. As a result, it is no longer possible to ride it. Via GPS, the bike can usually be located again as long as it is switched on and has reception. This function acts as a real deterrent for thieves to steal a stroma in the first place. Region can be used to set the desired language, select the metric system, as well as the time format, and in each case, confirm this with a check mark. Now, let's move on to the next small icon of the riding statistics. Here you can see all of the data, such as your running time, trip time, and the distance traveled. Total shows your overall performance. You compare your community average with your own overall performance. Today shows your actual stats, the individual days, and here you can see which days of the week the bike was ridden. The riding data over the entire month and the riding data over the year. Now we move on to the last icon, the profile menu item. At the top is the email address and link for logging in and out. By tapping on the field with the name and email address, the profile information can be viewed and updated. You can activate if you want to receive our newsletter. From the user manual menu, Click the red arrow on the left to access the user manual, which covers your bike, its handling and all additional information, which is really handy when you're out and about and need to look something up. Under service booklet, you will find all the details about your Stroma, the installed software and its service history. Have you sold your Stroma? Here you can easily remove it. Tap on remove Stroma now. Do you now have a second Stroma that you want to add? Easy. Tap here and follow the pairing instructions to add. You will find a separate YouTube instruction if you need help. In this section, you will find quick help when you are out and about on the road with the help FAQs. You'll find contact information and GTC and privacy policy. These are the main menu features of the latest version of the Omni app. Follow us on YouTube for more instructional videos. See you out on the road.